Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. If you're new here or you've just forgotten who I am by now, my name is Amber and I love all things handbag related with a little bit of emphasis on the brand Vera Bradley. I also do some content related to concealed carry and how that works with all of these beautiful bags that I love. So if any of that sounds good to you, then stick around because I'm finally back. So, <coughs> excuse me. So on that note, I, um, it's really good to be back making videos, you guys. I missed it so much. Um, I feel like I owe y'all a little bit of an explanation as to where I went because I just kind of went MIA there for a while. So if you've been, um, following my channel for a while, then you probably would have seen that the last few videos I had released or the videos that I had released in 2022 my year was not off to a great start. My family and I had all caught COVID. I had cracked a tooth. Um, things just weren't going that well. And unfortunately, they just continued to get worse. Um, my daughter had some health issues that came up that were very unexpected. There were a lot of doctor's appointments and... Um, you know, trying different things to get that resolved, and we we had we had a lot going on with that. And then um, my husband switched jobs, and that was really stressful. And then my grandma my grandma got very sick, and um, her health just continued to decline until she passed away, and that was really hard. She was the last grandparent that I had remaining, so yeah, that hit hard for a while, and um, so there's just been a lot going on, and to be honest with y'all, I just, I just didn't have it in me to get on here and be my happy, you know, bubbly self talking about all of this stuff. I just, I really didn't have it in me, so I apologize that I was gone for so long, but for what it's worth. I really needed a break because there was just a lot piling up on me at one time. But I'm back now and um, while I definitely didn't have it in me to be making videos the past few months, I um, certainly did some shopping. I did some grief shopping and then my birthday was in March and then Mother's Day was recently and um, yeah, I did, I, I did some online therapy for, you know, y'all know what I mean. Um, so I have a lot of new items to share with you guys. Some of them are pre-loved. Some of them are new. There are like six or eight different brands that I'm going to share with y'all. Just various items. Um, I think there are like 50 plus things to show you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and break this video into a part one and a part two. I'm going to do all of the accessory bits in part one, and then I'll show you all of the bags in part two. And, um, just, just to throw this out there, these items were not all purchased at one time, clearly. Um, they were purchased a couple here and there over the last two or three months that I have been absent from YouTube. And... Quite a few of them were for my birthday and Mother's Day and um, those occasions, you know, I don't just buy 20 different items a month on the regular. That's just not what I do. Um, but yeah, the majority of them came through for my birthday and Mother's Day. And then I, I did do some online shopping myself as well, but... Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into these items. So y'all bear with me because it has been a little while since I filmed a video. So I'm, I'm, I'm a little rusty at it again. So just try to be patient with me. The first item I'm going to show you is actually this throw blanket. Um, there's no way possible that I can pick this up and show it all to you in the camera. But um, I purchased this with a an order through the outlet store and it's the oversized throw blanket in gingham plaid so that was the first item that I got I'm normally not a huge plaid person 
but something about this one got me. I really like this one. Okay, um, the next few items I'm going to show you are from, like, Amazon, and I think a couple of them are even from Walmart. These first two are straps, and I purchased them, well, one of them goes with a bag that I purchased recently, and the other one... So I got this black and it looks white, but it's more of like a silvery color, which I thought it was white as well, but they both have silver hardware. The hardware is pretty good on them. They have a good length. Um, this one I purchased to go with a bag that you will see in part two. And then this one is like pink and tan and white. I thought it was super cute. I actually got this one to go with my Vera Bradley Large Cosmetic in Strawberry Ice. Um, in one of my earlier videos, I showed y'all how I convert that into a crossbody bag. And I was using the gray straps off of my Vera Bradley Performance Twill Multi-Strap Shoulder Bag um, as the straps for that when I convert it into a bag. And I just wanted another option to go with that. And this one works really well for it. It's really cute. I should have brought that cosmetic out, but I didn't. <laughs> so that's the first few. The next one I'm going to share with y'all is actually this. And it's a set of all these different um, quick release O-rings. I have purchased some before, but it was just like a set of six or something. This was a set... You can see the little quick release there. This was a set of like 40, I want to say, something like that. And there are four different sizes in it. I don't know how well y'all will be able to see those. But there are four different sizes in the set. So that, you know, depending on what I'm using them for, what I'm converting, or what I'm changing, or whatever. I can choose the size that works best for it. These seem to be really good quality. I've already used a few of them, which you will see. And uh, I think I got this set for $10 on Amazon. If anybody's interested in these, just let me know, and I can link them in the description down below. So really 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 good purchase if you like to convert your bags or change straps or anything like that okay um this next one it's kind of a fail unfortunately and i'll tell you before i even show you that i love the design of it if vera bradley or lug or any other brand that i'm a fan of would take this design and make their own version of it I'd be on it like that. Like, I love the design of it. But the quality didn't quite live up to what I was hoping. So, this was a set I got on Amazon. And it's a three-piece set, I think. So, this part I could care less about, honestly. This is one of those um, keychain bracelet things. You can hook your keys onto it and then it just slips over your wrist so you can hold your keys like that. That was whatever. Didn't really care about that. The second part Oh. There it is. <laughs> okay. So it comes with its own quick release because this has gold hardware on it. So, the second part is this little keychain piece. So, you have a mirror on one side, and then the other side is um, empty. And I think it said something on the description that it would hold a tile. Um, little electronic tile thing, which you could stick a picture in it or whatever you want. So, you clip that on there, and then this is what you have so far. And then the third piece is this little wallet. Now... I love the design, but there are a few flaws with this. So, on one side, you have a little ID window, 
and then you have another card slot here and then a slot here and it's covered with the snap closure which when this arrived to me I like to never got that open it was so tight so that's fine okay and then on the back you flip it around and you have additional card slots again with the little snap um, cover which I like your cards won't fall out so you have one two three more card slips on this side this is all fine okay and then right here is your little d-ring so that you can connect it onto here but I'm just gonna leave it off so I can show you and then across the top you have this zipper the zipper itself is fine but this is where the problem comes in it's a it's a faux leather and the faux leather itself is okay but it's not the best I've ever seen but if you can see the um, where they covered the seam on the inside here, these seams are so big, especially around the ends, that when you try to zip it, you see how that little seam is sticking out past the zipper? When I tried to use this, those seams kept getting caught in the zipper. Now, see, it's doing it right there, like... If that seam wasn't in the way, this would work fine, and it would be what I wanted, but anyway, I don't know. Maybe I just got one that was defective, or I don't know, but anyway, so on the inside, you open it up, and it's got this really nice big opening, and on this side, you have a slip pocket, and on this side, you have a little zipper pocket on the inside, so I did try to use this, and if the zipper would have worked correctly without these seams getting in the way and the quality of the material had been better, I would have loved this little wallet because I like compact wallets. And what I did was I put my little like loyalty cards, club cards on the outside here. I did not put my ID in this because I don't like my ID on the outside. But then I put my actual bank card, credit card, whatever, and my ID and all that stuff on the inside. I put the change in the pocket, and if the zipper wouldn't have got stuck all the time, it would have been fabulous. So, like I said, I really, really like the design of it, but the quality left something to be desired. So, yeah. If any other brand that I really like would pick this up and make something like this, I would be on it in a heartbeat. So, the next item I got from Amazon was this. And I could not pass it up because this was $4.99, you guys. Again, quality on this is not the best I've ever seen, but for $4.99... You've got to kind of expect that it's not going to be fabulous. But the reason I picked this up was because while this is a good size, it's thin. It's really thin. And most of the time, if you get a cosmetic that's this size, it's going to have a really thick depth on it. And for using in your handbags, for me, I don't find that very... It, does, it doesn't work very well for me. It takes up too much room. So the fact that this was so thin, but it still had a, a nice height and width to it, really, really like that. The part I liked even more is that this is a set. So it's not just two. It's not just three. It's not just four. It's actually five, you guys. Look at that. Five little pouches for $4.99. All day long, you guys. All day long. I will buy this for $4.99 all day long. Totally worth it. Um, these, like, these smaller three I have already used. I don't know how many times. Because they're, they're thin, but they're very pliable. But, great buy. I would highly encourage everybody to pick up a set of these. Because even if it only lasts, you know... A year for $4.99 and five different sized pouches? Absolutely. 
There are different colors too. I picked up the purple with like the teal colored flowers in it because I thought that one was the prettiest. But there was a blue, a pink, a green. I think there was even a black. So these are awesome. Really, really glad I got that. The next item I picked up from Amazon, you guys have already seen before because I raved about it and I'm still going to rave about it. And it's this um, Slim Wallet. I love this. Um, I showed you the blue one before. Uh, this is real leather. They're $10. You can't beat it. Um, I used my blue one so much that I went back and got the black one. And to be honest with you, I'll probably go back and get the tan colored one. And I'll probably pick up one in every color before it's all said and done because that's how much I like these. So on the front, you have this snap pocket and it opens up really nicely. I put my, if I have cash, I put my cash most used cards in there. On the back, you get all these card slots. That's dark, so you'll probably have a hard time seeing it. But there you go. You get one, two, three, four card slots and then this big slip pocket on the side. I put loyalty cards, store cards, that kind of thing in these. And then you have this zip pocket on the top. And what I really, really like about it is it's not just a zip pocket. It opens up on the end. So you can actually, yeah, you can see I've already used that one. There's a receipt in there. But you can actually open this up and access everything in it. It's super easy. And then it's also got the little um, D-ring clip right there. So if you wanted to clip a keychain onto it, I don't actually do that though. I do clip my keys onto it, but I just clip it through these loops on the top zip, uh, top zipper. Works really, really well. I can't recommend these little wallets enough. They come in a little, little cheap dust bag, but these are phenomenal. Like I said, I'll probably buy one in every color before it's over. That's how much I like these. Okay, these next two items, I actually picked up at Walmart um, like two weeks ago. I had seen them out at Christmas, but they were priced for like 20 bucks and there was no way in hell I was going to pay that. <laughs> but I thought they were cute and I did want them. So I checked the clearance section like a week ago and they were marked down to $2 from 20 from $20 to $2. So I picked it up and it's this little set of these uh, two little pouches. So you get this one and this one. Now, full disclosure, this one, this little kiss lock one came with this little cheap lanyard thing through that hole right there. And I cut it off because I'm never going to use that ever. But uh, the little kiss lock one has a quick release clip on it. You could take that off if you wanted to, but let me pull this stuffing out. But this one is just a little kiss lock case, if you can see in there. It's got a really decent amount of room. I mean, you've got like an inch and a quarter depth on this thing. I'll use it for change or breath mints or whatever. So I really like that one. And then the second piece looks like this and it has a little twist lock closure and it opens up and it's just one single pocket, but it comes with this little chain. So it also has a little keychain clip on it if you wanted to use it that way, but the little chain itself clips on to the sides. And most of the time, little chains like this are never long enough for me. But this one actually works. I can actually make this work like a little mini bag. And little teeny tiny micro bags are all the rage right now in... Uh, whatever in the world. Uh, I'll never use this chain <laughs> ever, ever. I got this because it's the perfect size 
to make a little mini wallet out of it because I tested it and cards fit in here perfect. So since I like little mini wallets, I will totally put my cards, cash, whatever in there, twist this up, clip it onto my keys, and I will absolutely use this as a little mini wallet. So for two bucks, you're darn right. I was gonna pick this cute little set up all day. And I got, I don't know how well it'll show up, but I did get like a turquoise color. These kind of feel like velvety. They had some that were um, like a patent leather look in other colors, but faux patent leather tends to peel and stick to everything and do all kinds of crazy stuff. So I didn't go there. I went with these. Alrighty. So I think that's the end of, nope, there's two more things. Okay, the first one, I saw this on somebody else's channel, but I cannot remember who it was. I'll put it on the screen if I can find it, but it's called a mini emergency kit for brides. Well, I'm not a bride anymore, but it says it comes with all of these items. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that, but I thought it was super, super cute. I actually found this one on eBay. It's this cute little pouch. It's white with like gold polka dots on it. And I found this one on eBay. Somebody was selling for $6, I think, and it was brand new. So believe it or not, all those items are actually shoved in there. And I just thought it was cute as can be, like a little catch-all pouch. And I love pouches. And this is just a cute, tiny little pouch you could use for anything. You can put your change in it. You could use it for breath mints. You could make it a little tiny tech case with like um, your cords and your earbuds and all of that. You could put your whatever you want in it. So I grabbed that for like six dollars. Well, while I was looking through these little sets, come to find out they have more than just this one. So I found this one and it's by the same company which is Pinch. P-I-N-C-H. And this one was called the Power Suits Her Mini Career Kit. Okay, so this one has different items in it than the first one. Some of them are the same, but this one has a bunch of different stuff in it. So I'll show you that if you want to pause it and read those. So that's what's supposed to be in this one. Well, I thought these were the same size. Come to find out they are not. So, the white one is a little smaller than this red one. And I love that. I got two different sized pouches with these little, like, sets in them. And I got this one for, like, six, and I think this one was seven or eight, maybe. Super inexpensive. And for what you get in them, you could take one of these straight out, throw it in your handbag, and you've pretty much got your, your little catch-all pouches with you ready to go. And if you're like me and you love pouches, then that's a win-win. So this one came with a scrunchie, um, a little lint remover, breath strips, um, a little mini ink pen, a mirror. I don't know. They're just so cool. I think these little sets are so cool. And there are even more than these out there. So, truthfully, you'll probably see me pick up a few more of these in the future because I love my pouches and the fact that they're full of useful stuff just makes it even better. Alright, let's move on to some pre-loved Vera that I picked up. So, the first, the first two items I'll show you. I picked up two GenZip IDs. This one I am currently using as my wallet, my current wallet. So I picked up Roomba and what is this one called? Daisy.Paisley. That's what it is. And fun fact, I have learned that I actually prefer the older version of the GenZip that doesn't have the quilting. Because this one's full. Like I said, I'm using this one as my wallet currently. But when they don't have the quilting, look how thin that is. 
Holy moly, it's super thin. The quilting just puffs them out a little bit more. But anyway, if you're unfamiliar, the Gen Zip has this front um, snap pocket, the key ring, and then the back has your little ID slot, the divider, and then another pocket there. I love these. This is probably my all-time favorite wallet from Vera Bradley. And again, this one is Roomba. I love the interior of this pattern. It's so colorful and pretty and just like a geometric rainbow in there. And this one again is Daisy Dot Paisley. Both of these were in perfect condition when I received them. Um, so that's that front pocket again. And then I've actually started using my Gen Zips where I throw my coins in that clear ID window. Because... I don't put my ID in that window anyway because I don't want it flashed out to the world for anybody to see. Not that I'm, you know, worried that anybody would see it, but I just don't like that. So I keep the cards I use the least back here. And then in the clear ID part, I put my change so I can see what I'm actually reaching for if I go to use it. And then I put my cash and most used cards in the little snap pocket and it works perfect for me. So if you like using the Gen Zip, think about putting your change in that clear pocket. Works great. <laughs> okay, the next item that I picked up pre-loved was this little card case mini wallet. I'm sure this was probably just called a card case. Um, I gave a whopping $2.50 or $3 for this. Um, so on the back, you have a slip pocket right here. And I do have this stuffed because when I received it, it was kind of crunched up. And, um, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so, it has the slip pocket on the back. And then it's a snap front opening. Right here you have an ID window. And then the actual main part of this, you have two pockets. So, you have one right here. And then you have the one I have stuffed. Um, I tried using this. It worked fine. This will hold about 18 cards in it or so, I think was what I had in it total. All of our insurance cards, bank cards, um, loyalty cards, store cards, you know, all the cards. But it worked really well. It's really small. And if you can see it, it's got contrasting white and blue stitching on it. And it's got the older, um, like, cursive vb logo writing in it but i just thought it was super cute i didn't have anything like this i love black and neutrals and all those colors but i thought the contrast stitching in it was just really really pretty and it was in great condition and super inexpensive so i definitely grabbed it up the next two things that i picked up pre-loved were these two wallets um one of them's called a taxi wallet and one of them's called something else, but I don't know which is which. So, the difference, the only difference between these two, there's two differences, I lied. This one, you have the trim that goes down the middle and this is um, Blue Rhapsody. This one, you have the trim that goes across the bottom horizontally. And this one is um, Boysenberry. The second difference is that this one is magnetic, while this one is a snap closure. They both work perfectly fine for me. If I had to pick, I would say I prefer the magnetic closure just because it's easier, it's more convenient, but I love both of them. So other than those couple of differences, they're the exact same. Both were in great condition, both were super inexpensive. So on the back. Actually, this is one more difference. On the back, you have an ID window. And on the boysenberry one that snaps, the ID goes in from the side. On the Blue Rhapsody one that has the magnetic closure, you go in from the top. So that's also different. Other than that, there are no more differences. <laughs> so you have the ID window on the back. You open it up and you have a zip pocket up here. You have a big slip pocket down here that has a little key, um, key ring in it. And then you have a little kiss lock closure down at the bottom. 
Now, I've had these in the past, and unfortunately, when we moved the last time, I don't know what happened to them. I had two other ones, but I love these wallets. They work great for me. This is a little bit bigger than what I normally use, but I, when I use them, I put my coins in here. Any cash in here in this section with my most used cards. And then all the other cards that I hardly ever use, I just throw up in this zip pocket. And these wallets work phenomenally well for me. So I'm definitely on the hunt to pick up a few more of these. So again, one of them is called a taxi wallet. And I think the other one is called a one for the money wallet, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, you guys. And I, like I said, I don't know which is which, which title goes with the magnetic closure and which title goes with the snap but these are really really great and you can again you can find these pretty cheap on the third party sites so the next piece that i got it is stuffed because when i received it it was kind of smashed up but the next Maybe item a little bit larger just a hair so on the front, you have this little tab that has the magnetic closure. And when you pull that up, you have this slip pocket here. Now I know it looks like it wouldn't be that big, but it's actually the size of the entire front of this cosmetic. So if you see like my fingers here and then all the way over here, and then it comes all the way up. So the entire front space is that pocket. There's nothing on the back. It does have the trim around the bottom. Um, this one is Lemon Parfait. I don't know if I said that. But then when you open it up, it's got this nice big opening. And you have these um, mesh pockets on each side. One on each side with the um, spandex around the top. And then inside, it's that laminated cotton lining. So it's patterned, but it's that laminated feel. And again, I picked this up off of maybe Mercari, I think. Super inexpensive. And then um, the little zip pulls on it are these little circles. And you do have a double zipper. So you can bring them up and let them meet in the middle. So I saw this on another channel too, if I can remember. I think I saw this one on... Uh, Vintage Vera Bradley, the channel Vintage Vera Bradley. Um, she actually had it in the boysenberry pattern, which was this pattern. Super cute. I had never seen this in all of my Vera 11 years. So when she showed it, I had to go hunt one down. And I like Lemon Parfait. It's yellows and greens and grays. And it's, it's a really nice pattern that I've come to appreciate more. So that was the Pocket Cosmetics. Okay, these next two items I picked up off of ThreadUp for super, super cheap. Um, compared to what they cost, I got both of these for... The first one I'm going to show you, I think I paid $18 for it. And the second one I got, I paid $15 or less, I think. And the first one is this. This is the Coach Nolita 19. I do not know the color name or anything like that because like I said I picked these up off of thread up um but I love wristlets wristlets you hear me trying to be all proper <laughs> I love wristlets and the um the Nolita line comes from the coach outlet side but the reason that I like these so much is because they have some actual depth to them so you can use these as little mini bags. You can use them as wristlets, clutches, however you want to use them. You can use them as catch-all pouches and bigger totes, bigger bags, however you want to do it. So this was the first one I grabbed, the Coach Nolita 19. And it's, um, I can't remember if it's embossed or debossed, but it's got the little C's on it with the Coach logo. This one has the gold chain strap on it that, um, as you saw, you can clip it off. You can clip it on this side and make it more of a wristlet strap. You can clip it back over here, like more of a mini bag. You can let it hang down. It's just a little chain detail, however you want to do it. 
um, I don't know if it'll show on the camera, but this has like glitter in it, but it's behind a, um, a, like a coating and then it is all leather. It's just super cute. I really, really, really love these. And you cannot hardly find these anywhere for less than like 60 bucks. Um, on the Coach Outlet website, you can kind of find them for around 50-ish, give or take. Not the 19. Um, the 19 is usually around 75 or so. So to find this one for $18 was a fantastic deal. It has no wear, no issues. Um, super happy with that. On the inside, the 19 has, it'll be probably hard to see, but it has two card slots. And then on this side, it has a um, larger slip pocket right there. So that's the Coach Nolita 19. And then I also found the Coach Nolita 15. Um, the 19 will hold my phone, no problem. I have a really big phone. The 15 doesn't hold my phone, but I absolutely love this one as a little catch-all in my bags. So this one was just um, their signature canvas material. And this one I found on there for like 15. No wear, no issues, super, super great deal. This is the one that you can't really find for less than 50. Um, so this one is the coated canvas with the, um, like an army green leather trim. I love that green color, it's super pretty. Um, the 15, <laughs> These don't have black interiors. They just, this one has a darker green interior and the other one had a darker burgundy interior. It's just hard to get in here and show you, but the 15 just has the two card slots. And then this one has the uh, leather strap on it instead of the chain. You can find both sizes with the different options, the leather strap or the chain strap. Uh, truthfully, my preference is the chain strap because it's more flexible, but the leather strap is definitely lighter um, in weight. So, love both of these. These were great, great, great deals to find. So, love those. The Coach Nolitas. And I'll show them to you side by side so you can get a, um idea of the size difference. So this is the 15 and this is the 19 and it's because this one's 15 centimeters across, this one's 19 centimeters across. So if I put the 15 in front of the 19, yeah. So you can see the 19 has got a significant difference on it. Probably like an inch and three quarters difference on the width. The depth on them is about the same. So these are both fantastic. Highly recommend those. Okay, now let's get into some new stuff. So the first item I'm going to show you is a wallet that I picked up from Radley in London. You guys know I like compact small wallets. Yeah, y'all know I like small compact wallets. I think this is so pretty. This is a leather wallet by Radley London. And it's kind of got those little details. They do set off of the front just a hair. Um, some of them, not all of them. Like this one and this one and this one. The three larger details do. And then it's got like some etching or embroidery details right here. I don't even know what you call it, but I think it's super cute. This was called the Medium Flap Over Wallet in Winter Moss, I think. So on the back of it, you have a slip pocket. And then it is a snap closure. I haven't used it yet. Oh, here's the tag. I can tell you what it's called. So this was called the Medium Flap Over Purse. And on here, they call it Dark Green. I thought it was called Winter Moss. I don't know. Anyway, you open the flap up, and it opens out like this. I'm not going to be able to show this worth a crap. So, on this side, you have one, two, three card slots, 
and then again on this back side you have one two three card slots again and then it's just one large open section right here and then you have this L zip L shaped zip that opens up into a big zip pocket so I clearly haven't used this yet um, truthfully because I think it's super pretty and um, it is all leather and I just don't want to ruin it yet <laughs> it's also got the two different snap options so if you feel it more you can snap it on the higher setting and give yourself some more room and where it is real leather it comes with their little dust bag um, if I can hold on to anything but just really really cute really love that wallet the next item I got is from Bagalini, and it's this little pouch. So I saw this on QVC, and they had it listed for $20. Now, I love my pouches, you guys, but I'm not paying $20 for a pouch. <laughs> so I did what I always do, and I went hunting. And I found this one on eBay. Somebody had it listed for 5 bucks, free shipping. So I jumped on that all day. I think there were maybe three or four different print options, but but I picked this one. I thought it was really cute. It's like navies and blues with those little pinks in it. I think it's supposed to be a floral print, but I'm not sure. So anyway, at the very top, you have this little clip. And I have the tag for this. Let me tell you what it's called. This is called the RFID Rectangle Double Zip Pouch. I thought it was called something else, but we'll go with it. So anyway, at the top you have this little clip. And it's set right in the middle, the center, of two zip pockets. And I am currently using this as well. But there's nothing in the pockets. You just have two open pockets in it but the back pocket I just have gum and mints and stuff in it right now but the back pocket if you can see that little tag right there says it's RFID protected now I really and truly don't care about RFID protection because RFID protection only protects cards that uh, you can use with contactless technology None of my cards are used with contactless technology, so RFID protection is useless for me, which is why I really love using my Gen Zip wallets and um, like the older taxi wallets and things like that because RFID protection is useless for me. But love this little pouch. Um, let's see, for reference, I'll show it to you next to this Gen Zip so you can get a little bit of an idea on size. Um, this will hold credit cards, debit cards, whatever. Um, I tried using it as a wallet. I didn't care for it that way too awful much. Um, I guess because it's vertical, it was hard for me, or harder for me to see all of my cards. Um, but it works great as just a little storage pouch, and I love it for that. So it'll hold hand sanitizers, earbuds, your, you can use it as a little mini wallet if that works for you. Um, you can use it how I'm using it for like mints and gum and things like that. You can clip it on the outside of your bag, clip it to a key leash on the inside, whatever you want to do with it. It's just a great little pouch. I thought it was really cute. So I really like that one. All right. Next, let's go with some lug. So I placed my first order through lug directly recently. Well, actually it was through the lug live app. And they sent me these headbands for free, which is extremely thoughtful, and, and I really appreciate it. Um, I thought that was, I think that's super kind that Lug as a company includes some kind of gift with your purchase. I just think that's just great, I don't know, it... To show their appreciation for their customer base, I think it's just great. I have not actually tried these yet. I don't know if they will, you know, I don't know if I'll like them or anything like that. 
but it was a free gift with purchase and I wanted to mention it because I think it's awesome that they do that. They're called the Halos. Soft Headband 3 Pack. So, that's those. And then part of what I actually did order, I got a mini Choo Choo in Camo Rose. I wanted to see this pattern, but I didn't want to get a big bag in it yet because I wasn't really sure about it. But now that it's arrived, if I can, I can't hold on to anything, y'all. Now that it's arrived, I really do like the colors in it. How accurately they're showing up, I couldn't tell you, but there's grays and kind of like an light icy blue and different shades of pink. It's really, really pretty. So the mini Choo Choo, I'm sure y'all have seen. It is just a little pouch with the um, little pill container in it. Pretty cool little item. And uh, if it would be something that you would be interested in, this does have little tabs on the end. So you could absolutely take one of those rings, um, little quick release rings I showed you earlier, put one in there and attach a wristlet strap and use it as a little wristlet, a little tiny wristlet. The next thing that I got from Lug was the, what is this? The Seesaw Set in Butterfly Gray. This is actually the first set of anything like this that I have purchased from them, like the Clearview envelopes. I don't have any of them. I've never tried them. So, um, the reason I purchased from Log Live was because they had a sale on all these different items. And then I had uh, found a coupon code for like 20 more percent off. And I got really good deals on all these things. So, um, anyway, yeah. The little seesaw set, you get the smaller clear one and then the larger one. And like I said, I got it in butterfly gray. And if you haven't seen that pattern up close, it's beautiful. The little butterflies in it almost look holographic. Super pretty. So, I'm going to give those a try pretty soon. Let's stick that one back in there. And then the next thing that I got was a parasail in butterfly gray. So, I did not have anything like this from Lug either. And I had seen it. And I had an idea and so I wanted to give it a try. So if you're unfamiliar, this is a Paracel. It is their cosmetic case, one of their cosmetic cases. So you have this front zip pocket. It's not lined or anything, or not lined with plastic or anything. It is just a pocket. The back is just plain. There is no quilting, no anything like that on this bag, which I love. Uh, for this pattern because you don't have that quilting that interferes with um, the butterflies. Uh, anyway, the inside is all plastic lined and then you have this back zip pocket. Inside here, it is not plastic lined. It's just the nylon. But anyway, so I did not get this to use as a cosmetic actually. I saw, again, it has little tabs on the end. I ended up getting this super cheap. Like I said, through Lug Live, it was on sale. And then I had another discount coupon. So, I saw this. And I wanted a bag to try in the Butterfly Gray. Because, as I've told y'all before, I clearly love gray, black, and neutral colors. But I love teals and things like that, too. So, I love this pattern. And I wanted to get a bag in it. But all the bags I looked at had the quilting on the front. And where the quilting was, to me, it looked like it interfered with the butterfly pattern. It would just kind of throw throw the pattern off a bit. It made the, the butterflies look a little bit off, just in my opinion. And I wanted something just to show the solid pattern. So when I saw this was on sale... And that they also sold the butterfly gray strap 
y'all know what your girl done when did. I bought them both and I'm going to make it a bag. <laughs> so I put my little rings in there. I connected the strap. And check this out, you guys. This is adorable. Look at this cute little crossbody bag. Let me see. Look how cute, you guys. Now, I did fill this up just to see what it would hold. Because, you know, if I'm going to use it as a crossbody bag, like I did my large cosmetic from Vera, I want to know what it'll hold. Believe it or not, this sucker holds a ton. And it's because of the base. This is not very tall, but it's like nine and a half-ish wide. Like five or five and a half tall. But the depth on this is like four inches or more, something like that. So, let me just throw some stuff in here. My phone. Uh, I don't know, we'll stick this one in there. This one. <laughs> we'll put the other Gen Zip in there. I mean... It may not look like a ton right now, but as far as my actual daily essentials, let me show you. Yeah, like, look at all the stuff I have shoved in here. And it's that east-west design, so you can see everything super clearly. And then, look at that. That is such a cute, perfect little crossbody. I know y'all can't see it very good because my shirt's gray and this is darker and all of that, but I am so happy with my decision to get the Paracel and then try it as a small crossbody bag. This is perfect for like a day out shopping, running errands, you know, anything that you just want your, your essentials for. Your wallet, your keys, your phone, maybe some mints, maybe a, a lipstick if you carry that. Whatever, this will hold it no problem. And then I just got the one inch strap that matched it. So happy with it. And I really do feel like this shows the butterfly pattern off so well. Because you don't have that quilting that cuts through the butterflies and kind of distorts them a little bit. Love it. Highly recommend everybody go get themselves a little parasail. Throw a strap on it. Perfection. <laughs> I am all about taking these cosmetic bags and turning them into actual bags. Okay, so the last of the accessory items, I think. I'm sure I have forgotten something somewhere. Um, but the last of it is the new Vera Bradley accessories that I picked up. So, I'll start with these. I got two of these keychains. This one is French Paisley. Nothing to see on here. Not a single bird anywhere inside or out. <laughs> but that's perfectly fine because it's a keychain. You know what I mean? I just like putting my keys on it. This one is, um, what is this one? This is sure enough from the factory outlet side. Um, now all of my factory outlet items that I ordered from the store they were shipped to me. I could, I didn't pick placement. I didn't any of that. And actually for this keychain, I just told the super, super awesome lady I was talking to, to give me one that had more of the darker bits of the pattern on it because our hands are just gross and grimy and get dirty. So I didn't want it to have a bunch of the white areas to get nasty. So, you can't see any of that pattern, but it's just a keychain. So, French Paisley, and sure enough. And then, when I made that first order, it was my birthday, or around my birthday. So, they sent me this little card case um, as a gift. And when it came to me, it was all smashed up and wrinkled. So, I actually put two, um, just like two old gift cards I had laying around to kind of straighten it out. So, this one is in Peacock Garden. There is no peacock on it. It's just parts of the floral, but it's super pretty. 
So that was the little card case that they sent me. And um, actually, I think I'm going to put my husband's business cards in here because I told you guys he switched jobs and he has business cards for the first time in his life now. So that's pretty exciting. I'm going to put those in there and give them out. The next piece I got is the, what is this called? Bag charm for AirPods. And this one is in Sunny Medallion. So, um, I told the girl, I was like, just pick me one out that looks good. And she said, there's one here that has almost a perfect medallion centered on it. I said, that'll work. So I thought that was pretty cute. She did really good picking that out. The back side is not as good, but the front's really, really cute. And y'all have seen these everywhere, I'm sure, which I've been gone for so long. I'm even behind on watching YouTube videos myself of all of the Vera people I love watching. But on the inside, it's just one open pouch with that light blue interior. Super cute. Again, you can use this for coins, your little AirPods, um, hand sanitizer, gum, mints, whatever you want to use. These are really cute. Okay, next you guys are going to think I'm insane. <laughs> but I have gotten three of these. This one actually came from an online outlet sale. I don't know, back in... February, I think this one, um, what is this one? This one is the hair accessory kit in far out floral. This one is blue Island medallion, I think. And then this one again was that, um, sunny medallion. I love the colors in this. They're so just pretty and vibrant and fun and summery but these are all hair accessory kits so they all have the exact same thing you get the scrunchie the little clear hair tie and then the headband and I just stuck all of these back on here to show y'all but I have actually already used this one and these headbands are awesome if I have anything too tight in my hair it'll give me a headache because I get migraines anyway um, but these are great. They're not too tight. They're just, um, they're firm enough to stay on your head and keep your hair back, but they're not so tight that they squeeze your brain out. <laughs> and these little pouches are tiny and adorable and perfect for little catch-all pouches in your bags. Um, I've used these, I don't know how many times in my bags already because I like them that much. So just to show you a size reference again, here's that Gen Zip ID next to the little pouch. So that's roughly about the size of it, but it's got some depth on it there. So you can see, yeah, that's about the depth on it. So these will hold more than what it looks like. But two, if you don't want it to be all poofed out, you know, they can kind of flatten down. So I absolutely love, love, love these little hair accessory kits, clearly, because I bought three of them. And I'm sure I'll buy more. That's how much I like these. Uh, the next thing I got from the factory outlet side is a cosmetic trio in Peacock garden I haven't used these yet but I love this pattern let me know I'm gonna tell y'all something I have not been feeling the Vera Bradley retail side recently the patterns and things that they've been coming out with the last couple of releases just haven't been doing it for me that much um I've been a little underwhelmed with it I think there's nothing none of the patterns have like really really jumped out at me well there's one that I I like pretty well and I did order something in that that y'all see in part two where I show all the bags um but other than that one pattern I'm just kind of like you know sitting here waiting on them to release a new collection that really gets me excited and gets me you know pumped up for beer again. But anyway, that's my little tangent. Let me know how y'all are feeling or if that's just me. 
but I really just haven't been that enthralled with their retail side patterns that they've been releasing lately. The factory outlet is different. This peacock garden pattern I am in love with and there's a couple of other patterns that they have released that I really like. Um, that sunny medallion, I just think that's so fun. It's kind of tie-dye-ish, but it's got the medallions and all the colors. It's really pretty. Um, I like it, but I love this one. And then there's another pattern that came from the factory outlet side that I'll show you in part two again that I really like. Um, but anyway, this is the cosmetic trio, you know, the one, two, three pouches. I absolutely love these. I use the smaller ones um, for coins, um, mints, little tech pouches, whatever. The middle size one I use as catch-all all the time because these are nice and slim. Um, so they fit in your bags really, really well. I just, I love these sets. I think they're great value for what you get. And they, they're just so multi-purpose. You can use them for so many things. Um... The interiors on these are not lined. This still has, I haven't used it yet, so they're connected, but I don't know if I'll be able to show you, but they're not lined. It's just kind of that um, nylon material, but I don't usually carry makeup with me anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me. And again, I didn't pick these out, so I have no idea if I even got any peacocks on here. I got the tail on that one. <laughs> I got a butt pouch. <laughs> uh, this middle one has absolutely nothing. And the large one, I have a little head right there. <laughs> so, not the best pattern placement for the peacocks, but I really don't care because this pattern to me is just all about the colors and the pattern as a whole. The teals and blues and pinks and it's just gorgeous. This pattern is gorgeous. So, love that. And then on the retail side, I picked up this speech pouch set in Morning Shells. So, if you're unfamiliar with this little set, um, this was the only thing I got in this Morning Shells pattern because it's nice. It's pretty. But I didn't love it so much that I felt like I needed a bag in it. So I just got this little pouch set because I love my pouches. So I love my pouches. Y'all have seen this. It's got the little round coin purse with the little ships and um, life rings and tails, all that on it. It's just a pouch. No interior pattern, just a light blue lining. The faux leather zip pulls. It's a cute little pouch. I'll use it for something. This was the one I was more interested in. It said it had card slots in it. I'm a little disappointed with it, if I'm going to be honest. So, they connect with this little pleather wristlet strap. And you can, you know... It's not the easiest, but you can take them all off, use them separately. So I love mini wallets. I wanted to use this as a small compact wallet. However, can you see like how loose that is? The little card slots in this are just kind of ridiculously loose in my opinion. It's, let me see. Like, the top slot there, when you put a card in, it sits right at that top edge of that zipper. So, it'll zip fine around it, but it's just super, super close. And then look how that fabric just pulls out. Like, it's just so loose. It almost feels, I don't know, like it wasn't done completely completely correctly. So I probably won't use it as a mini wallet. I'll just end up using it as a pouch just to use it. But you have the two card slots in there. And then on this end right here, you have that little, um, 
elastic loop that you can put chapstick and all of that in. So that's the beach pouch set. <coughs> the next item I picked up is another RFID petite zip around wallet and this one is in plum pansies um this one i actually found in a local shop that well it's actually the local hospital gift shop i found out that they carried vera funny enough and i didn't know that um but i saw this one and it had the pretty blue flower right there i really liked it so i grabbed that Funny enough, though, I think, don't quote me on this because I'll have to check afterward and I'll put up here if I was right or wrong. The Performance 12 version of this that I have, I'm pretty sure that the, the uh, ring right here is a quick release. This one's not. It's just a regular key ring. So I'm going to have to look at that and see if I changed it or if it came like that. But um, the little RFID petite zip around wallet, if you're unfamiliar has an ID slot on the back and then when you open it up it has one two three big open slots I can't hold on to anything I told y'all it has a card slot against this side card slot against this side kind of a little hidden pocket right here in between these two big sections and then a zipper pocket right here these little wallets work great if you're just carrying like cards and some cash but if you go to put much change in here or very many coins um you'll bulk it out really quickly and you won't be able to zip it so you can put a few coins in there like if you pay for something in cash and you get a little bit of change back and you want to throw it in that little zip pocket to get home or whatever that'll fit no problem but to think that you're going to carry very many coins in it um regularly it won't work but if you carry like i said pretty much just cards and maybe a little bit of cash these are phenomenal little wallets i highly recommend these as well they work really really well the last item i have to show y'all is called the i don't know let me look <laughs> It is, this is called the Reactive RFID Zip Around Wristlet. So, this is the reactive material. I saw this when they released it, and it was in one pattern, I think, and the black. Again, I love blacks, grays, neutrals, all of that, and I wanted to try this little item, so I picked it up in the black. And I'm going to tell you guys, this really surprised me. Um, with it being the reactive material, I figured it was going to be that super, like, flimsy, slouchy feel that a lot of the reactive items have. But no, this is kind of reinforced on the sides. It's not flimsy. It, um, it's not hard by any means. But this is thicker to me. It, um... It's, it's definitely thicker than what I'm accustomed to from the reactive material. It, this has more structure than I thought it was going to. That's the best way to put it. So, on the outside you have no pockets. Nothing on the outside. The little logo is right there in that rubber. You do have a bracelet strap and the reactive material again. And it has the little um quick release on that so you can take it on or take it on take it off or keep it on and then on the inside on one wall you have one two three little um card slots and it does have the chunky zipper Oh, I'm hitting the string. I was like, why is that not zipping? 
Oh my lordy. But you you do have the chunky zipper. It works fine. No issue. And it zips around the top and down. So you have the card slots on one side. And I think that interior is really cute on this black. It's just like a gray and black and white floral. Anyway. And then on this other side, you have a zip pocket. That I'm doing a terrible job of showing you. Nothing's working with me today. But you have that little um, zip pocket. So, I haven't used this yet, obviously. But when I do, I will um, definitely come back and let y'all know what I think about this little item. Whether it worked well for me or not. So, I think that's all of the new or new to me accessories that I have picked up since I have been absent from YouTube. I'm sure I've forgotten something somewhere, but I tried to gather it all up the best I could to my memory and all that. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope maybe you saw something you'd never seen. I hope you guys are glad that I'm back, <laughs> that you're not too angry at me for being gone. And I will see you all in part two of this a uh, little haul video where I show you all of the new bags that I've acquired. So if you have any comments, questions, or just want to say hello, leave me a message down below and I will get back to y'all. I'll see you in part two. Bye guys.